something right on that, y'all. <laughs> what? Boom, 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 more eating. Grab your drinks and your treats. Boom, 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 say hi to Agnes. Welcome to Mukbang Madness. Hey, y'all, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl, More Eats, and your girl, Agnes. If you are new here, lights up. Share us out, hit the bell, comment below after the video, let us know what you think. Share us out more importantly, thumbs us out more importantly. Let's get that algorithm going, y'all. Let's get the channel growing. Let's show love, y'all, genuine love. Today, I am here just with a little simple mukbang, you guys. I got potato, corn, shrimp. And sausage. I got some be love sauce smoldering over here in the corner. Booyah, baby. I got the queen sauce. And of course, I got the chum dipping sauce. You already know the deal. Y'all better hit that. Wait, hold on. Let me let me see this. Hold on. That did a little dark way. Y'all let me let me push the light down a little bit. Hold on. <clears throat> let me get the light in right. Blooper. I don't see that. Unless I want to edit it out. I don't know. I might. We'll see. Y'all see that? Chum dipping sauce. A, A, A. Comment below if you've already had it. Tell me what y'all think about it. Also, the link for the chum sauce is in the description of the video. I want you guys to click the link. More eats at checkout to get your discount. And while we talking, let's pour some up, baby. I don't like to pour too much. I love to savor my chum. And I'm drinking A and W today, y'all. See if I can get this close enough so y'all can at least hear it. my drink for today so and I got some cucumbers over here that is also in the chum dipping sauce you guys cucumbers and chum I got that from my girl X Tina Grubs and it's a bomb it is bomb let's get on into it let me start doing my prayers people be like why you don't pray look I do pray over my food as I'm cooking when I'm plating everything but let me show y'all let me just let y'all know that I do pray over my food every time, okay? Amen. All right, so we just got some little shrimps, y'all. I just want some of this B-Love sauce. Anybody want to want, want taste? Hmm, he'll taste. Mmm. Mm hmm I got the spicy one today, y'all. Um. Mm hmm cool. Mm hmm In that. Mm-mm-mm. Mm -mm. Mm. Corn be so good and sweet and savory. Mm -mm -mm. Mm -mm -mm. That corn be good. Mm. 
thumbnail. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. You know what I'm saying? That Hillshire Farm sausage. Look, look at my lipstick. It's a suicide. It's a murder. Murder that food. I'm gonna put some in shine for y'all here. If y'all if y'all had the chum. Y'all wanted that bite. If you already had chum sauce, you wanted that bite for sure. So this sauce is fire. On everything that I've tried so far. Mmm. That's the spicy one. Ooh. It's a spicy one. Ooh, that is spicy. Potato. Mmm, quite good kick though. Mm. Let me get in there and get some of the good stuff out for y'all. Hmm. Have some. Mm hmm. I'm telling you, that is good. I was over here making this food and thinking about everything that went on last year. And that whole pandemic, I mean, it's definitely still going on, but it's not at the height that it was last year when it first broke out. Everything closing, you know, people getting laid off their jobs, all that type of stuff. So many people dying rapidly that was otherwise really, I mean, probably not extremely healthy, but was healthy enough to still be surviving where, you know, people not just dying. I don't know where, you know? underlying health issues that people could otherwise deal with in a other t in another time all of a sudden they couldn't even deal with them no more you know it just took you over oh my god I know so many people that lost their you know immediate family it was horrible like, wait, what? You don't even believe it sometimes. So many people got sick. You know, thank God that there wasn't a mass casualty as bad as it could have been. But it was a lot. It was a lot. Thank God it was able to be contained. And like, right to this day, Nobody's really having to be hunkered down the way we was before when it first out the outbreak. I know there are still people that are scared, that don't want to go out, that necessarily don't even really go out as much as they used to, you know? But it do. It do get you scared and wondering about life. 
which is what I want to ask y'all. Like, what has the pandemic taught you guys? You know, what life lessons did that pandemic bring? I don't know for what. Don't take life for granted. Not any day. Because you never know. From here to the next. You know what I'm saying? Like. A lot of people be saying. Here today. Gone tomorrow. But so it literally could be. Here today, gone today. You know what I'm saying? And that's just the reality of what the pandemic had brought up on us at first because nobody knew how to deal with it. You know what I'm saying? It was just like all out of the what? The blue. And then we had a person. I'm not going to get into that, but you know, I don't know. It could have been maybe handled a little bit different. from the gate but one thing the pandemic did teach me is like also it's to love thy neighbor cause you never know when you gonna need somebody and I mean you ain't gotta always be in your neighbor face kicking it hanging out mingling but know who's around you so you never know who could help because at a point before the pandemic i was extreme couponing i had a garage full of detergent and coupon deodorant i have so much stuff in my garage you know, that I was able to have not only for me and my family, but for, you know, my auntie who was handicapped. You know, she was having, she couldn't get to the store as much, you know. And, you know, just looking out for people that needed it you know what i'm saying and it was at no cost i wasn't out here charging nobody no 30 dollars for a little jug of uh, uh, detergent i was giving that stuff away literally giving it away to my family like here you need three bottles take three you know what i'm saying excuse me and We're going to make sure it happens. I forgot about my little cucumbers, y'all. Mm-hmm. I sure did. But. It definitely taught me that. You need to look out for one another. And it also taught me that when you can't get to the nail shop, you need to learn how to manicure your own nails. You know what I'm saying? You need to oh, know the process. And eyebrows. I'm surprised it wasn't eyebrow teaching classes popping up all over the damn place. Cause we was out here looking crazy. Hair. Unless she was a hairstylist. You know what I'm saying? Uh-uh. That's crazy. You just gotta learn how to sacrifice. You know what I'm saying? This, but we so... We have all these luxuries. And there's really countries that ain't got none of this. You know what I'm saying? And it's so... Just how much we depend on our luxuries, you know? It's crazy. Even 
toilet paper like some countries don't even have that and we out here about to die and over buying and all this uh, mass purchasing it was a lot going on y'all what a difference a year can make but you know It's still baby steps, but it's just horrible that we lost so many family members and lives and friends lost family members and like people that even we know of and know about, you know, it's horrible. It is very horrible. And I know it just taught me a lot. It would definitely teach you not to be so materialistic. And don't be so set on your luxuries, you know. Because, uh, obviously that thing can be taken away in a heartbeat. Yeah, so the pandemic did teach me how to be patient, love more, give more, think about others more. Nothing but lessons. Life ain't nothing but a lesson. And it, 2020 definitely taught us a lot of lessons and we still learning, we still growing, we still glowing. You know what I'm saying? So I think... Out of all the badness and out of all, you know, the pandemic and the herd and all that that everybody been through, I think at the end of the day, we coming out strong. We coming out more aware, more conscious of each other. There's a lot going on that the pandemic also brought out all this, you know, social unrest. And I think it's just being a door open so people can just like learn more and be more tolerable of each other and hopefully things will just start getting better you know it is baby steps but sometimes you have to take them baby steps to get to that giant leap so we can just get through this and so other generations can just live and learn about what's going on you know what i'm saying and don't have to live like this well I'm going to be done ranting, y'all. I appreciate each and every one of you guys for coming in, for being tuned in to more Eats. Me and Agnes and our madness. <laughs> I appreciate you, 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 and you. Don't forget to like, subscribe, share me out, hit the bell. Tell them we in here. Tell them we in here. Boom, boom, boom. Say bye to Agnes. Thanks for coming to Mama Bang Madness.